Hey guys, it's Dookie Bomb here coming to you with another episode of Elder Scrolls Online. How you guys doing today? I just handled myself very well with those guys here. This is a continuation of the the mission that I, I think I left off at the Mages Guild last episode. So um, we're just trying to find this ghost lady. Uh, there was a family that was cruel to this ghost. So we're just trying to find this out. And I'm not going to play around with you guys anymore. Uh, the number one top villain for me is the Joker. Now, I know that... Thanos is like the see all be all. Who's gonna who is he who is he gonna name after Thanos? Well, it's the Joker. Now, if you see the pattern, episode five, I list the top ten villains of uh in my opinion of all time, uh in my favorite list. And you know, I have the the Joker as my number one. And then my my uh favorite list of superheroes was episode four. And I list Batman. There is no mistake in that because they are definitely uh, antagonists and protagonists at its best. Um, Joker is his foil and they have each other's number. Batman won't kill Joker. Joker probably wouldn't kill Batman. And um, that, that, that relationship is just so rich and it's really hard to beat with any other characters and uh, superhero or villain but um, yeah so that's that's the uh, the villain for the top 10 list and um, so updates updates for the channel um, I'm going to tell you guys about the division I know there's some people that want to see the division happen and I know that I'm in episode 7 but um, to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be myself if I didn't tell you that I'm just not enjoying the division. It has nothing really to do with the division. I feel like, for me, it's more of like iPhone syndrome. Um, what I mean by that is, at the iPhone's peak, when iPhone was the phone, when it was like the premier phone, there's no top top above that phone you always had competitors well it feels like I'm using a competitor of an MMO when I'm playing the division I'll explain a little bit further after I talk to this ghost lady that we were trying to look at what is this place what happened to the tower what, what have you done the veil once hired you didn't they but you don't understand you don't know what I gave up to stop them. I lost everything. I lost my... my baby. Tell me what happened. I fell in love with a coward. A Veilborn who couldn't disappoint his mother, even if it meant his beloved had to die. My love turned to hatred in that tower. Before the end, I begged and prayed for someone to help my unborn child. And someone answered your prayers? You have to understand, Akatosh, Daedra, it didn't matter who heard me. I just wanted my baby to live. Then what happened? I made a bargain, got my revenge, saved my baby. The Baleborns deserve to lose what they love the most, their wealth, their lands. I felt my child leave me. I could smell the smoke from the tower. I heard the screams. The deal had been struck. The Baleborns are different now. The Baleborns don't change. That family carries evil in its heart. Let them all rot. The ward and the waterfall will always keep the Baleborns away. The master made it with his own blood. What happens if I remove the reward? No, you can't. Oh. The master won't let you. My, my baby, but what would become of him? The master would kill him. I don't believe you would do such a thing. You know the Baleborns are evil. You know that my curse must stand. So back in 2009, when the iPhone was on AT&T only, it was like the juggernaut of smartphones. There was other smartphones out, but that phone was the top cream of the crop and 
I'm not saying Elder Scrolls is that, but it is for me. It's the premier MMO for me. This is the reason why I got the PlayStation 4 in the first place. Um, with that said, the the division is like playing with one of those other competitor phones. So every time I played the division, it felt like it made me feel like I wanted to just play Elder Scrolls Online. The mechanics are different. Obviously, you have guns instead of swords and shields, but it has the MMO premises. You know, pretty much big area. Um, I don't know how big the division was really, but oh, you know, a fairly big area. Um, leveling system, playing with friends, all that stuff. So it has. It's just a pretty much a reskin for me. Yes, it's totally different genres but I'd much rather play Elder Scrolls Online now um, I was talking to my, my team some of my friends and they were saying Dookie you would not be yourself if you would just push through this game uh, the people that know me know that I like to stick up for myself stand up for myself and they know that I would not do something that I I'm not enjoying so with that said um, I don't want to cancel I don't want to cancel this out but let's say that I'm gonna just put it on ice for now and for the future of the channel I have to be more picky and be more responsible for you guys my my youtubers my my uh, my viewers um, that I am picky and that I can pick the right games and see them through I know that I'm gonna see Elder Scrolls through. I know that I'm gonna see Minecraft through. These games are unbeatable, really. There's always new content. Um, but the Division, I just felt like I wanted to play Elder Scrolls, or I should be playing something else. So it was pretty good at first because it was a new game. A new game gets you all giddy and gets you excited for the new game experience. But once you get past that, it's kind of like it was just grueling and hard to play. That's why I haven't been coming out with the episodes. So for now, just try not to, don't don't look for those. Um, I might sprinkle them here and there, but they're, you know, they're gonna be few and far between. Um, with that said, that brings up to speed with El um, the Drake Uncharted. Drake Uncharted, I definitely want to get. Just like that Street Fighter, I told you about the Street Fighter. Street Fighter, I wanna get that, but it has to be a complete game with the updates. Same thing with Drake Uncharted. Oh, whoa, hold on. Someone just electrocuted me in the back of my head. Get this guy. Uh, ooh, I leveled up. All right. Let me see here. Get this. All right. I think I'm going to get a passive. And I think I'm going to get it in the Dawn's Wrath. All these passives are important in game, so I'm going to have to get these eventually. Might as well get it now. And I'm going to get that solar flare later. All right. Let's talk to this guy real quick. What's going on? I was able to get this far, but I still feel the approaching dread and building terror. Did you talk with the spirit? Your grandmother and father were cruel and heartless. They earned this curse. I told you my father was a bastard, but what he did happened many years ago. I had no part in that. Why should I have to suffer for what he did? Maybe this curse should stand. Listen, you need to convince the ghost to move on. Please, convince the spirit that we suffered enough. My mother ordered the higher guards to reclaim this place no matter the cost. It's out of my hands. These men will kill anyone who gets in their way. Your guards don't frighten me. The curse must remain in effect. Damn it, I tried to warn you. Remember I don't know who you're talking to. I'm leaving before the ghost makes my head explode or something. I'd run if I were you. So what happens when a new game comes out is YouTubers hop right on that game, rightfully so. You know, get the maximum views and subscribers. Um, when people go right though, I go left. Um, so I'm not going to just hop on a game because it's the new hotness. Hold on, let me talk to this lady. 
Every Baleborn who dares to return to this land shall fall. What happened here? The Baleborn heir. He could have been my son if Maurice had only stood up to his evil mother. Instead, he let her lock me in that tower. What happened? Only what was meant to be. But what happened in Ethel? He ran headfirst off this cliff. The curse remains in place just as Tachnin promised when he first appeared to me in the tower. You know, I never asked what happened to my child. It's comfort enough that Tachnin continues to honor our bargain. Why didn't the curse affect me? You weren't a Baleborn. Besides, we believed that you would do the right thing. I hope my child grew up with the same virtues that you demonstrated here. Thank you. Mission complete. Alright, so, um, what I was saying is that I definitely want to get Drake Uncharted. Um, I, I love Naughty Dog as a company. I played Crash Bandicoot back in the day, and I like all the Drake Uncharted's. Now, with that said, I'm not going to just hop on a game because it's the new game to hop on. Um, so I want to I wanna get past this new game rush, watch a couple YouTubers, and, you know, because a lot of the things I just don't want to copy and, you know, I, I want to do it my own flavor. So you're going to get that Dookie Bomb flavor very soon with Drake Uncharted. Oh yeah, and in uh, episode episode four, I totally forgot one of my favorite superheroes. And wherever Wolverine is, we're just gonna do a little slash there and put this character, uh, the Black Panther. I, you know, like I that is one of my favorite characters as well. Um, so I just gotta put him in there. In fact, if I could do that list over, I'd probably bump Nightcrawler out of there move everyone down and probably put Black Panther above Wolverine but um yeah so I think that I just wanted to sit uh, I wanted to put that in there that that is he needs to be in there somewhere for my list that's my favorite list um but yeah so please be on the lookout for Drake Uncharted when I do get it and I'm going to get it very soon I just I want to get past that whole YouTuber rush getting your episodes out of there. I just want to play the game and enjoy well done. it. As a final step, you must scatter dirt on the fire. Why dirt? According to the legend, just as our crops feed on the soil of the hollows, so too will the bad man feed. Also, it's a tradition. Humorous. Hmm. Throw some dirt on this. Throw some dirt on it. Whoa, what just happened? The bad man's hollows. Look at that. This place looks totally different. What happened? Okay. Did they just turn into like these people right here that I have to kill? That's kind of crazy. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, it's looking kind of crazy in here. Let's check out this person right here. You're not one of them. Please, you must. Help what's me. going on? Where am I? Uh, help me get free of these roots. Then I'll explain everything. Why don't you explain now? Self-preservation. Roots first, then answers. What can I do? The dead shock over there. I killed it before these roots grabbed me. Cut out its fire gland, then use it to burn away these roots. Hurry! Alright, so this whole place is a Dramora prince or something like that? That's kind of crazy. Okay, okay, so we just released this person here. Lucky you came along when you did. We've got a lot of work to do. I was at the Harvest Festival. How did I get here? That was no Harvest Festival. Those people are Daedra worshippers, and we're in terrible danger. 
We need to get out of these tunnels. Is there a way out of here? We're directly beneath the tree. Except it's not a tree. It's a minor Daedric Lord. The tree's roots are the key. He channels dark energy through them to keep this pocket of oblivion from collapsing upon itself. Destroying the roots will hurt him. How can I destroy the roots? The same way you freed me. Use Shocklands to burn the roots in these caverns. That should weaken him. I'll work on planning our escape. Once you've burned the roots, come and find me. I have a few more questions. Yes, I'm sure you do. Who are you? Evelyn. I was part of a circle of mages testing the boundaries of conjuration. I'd say we were wildly successful, mortal terror notwithstanding. What did you summon? A minor Daedric Lord. On this plane, it manifests itself as a giant tree at the center of the Hallows. Is this all the work of the bad man? No, this wasn't the work of any Breton god. The being we're dealing with is a Dramora Lord. It adopted the guise of the bad man to lure the gullible into its trap. Why exactly did you summon this thing? The search for divine knowledge, natural curiosity, lots of reasons. Look, if we knew it would corrupt our circle, impersonate an old harvest god, and drain the souls of the living, we certainly would have reconsidered. Where are we? Deep beneath the roots of the tree. But how is this all inside a cave in Daggerfall Harbor? We're not in Glenumbra anymore. The hallows and these tunnels exist on another plane, a pocket realm. The more the tree grows, the larger this realm becomes. If left unchecked, it could destroy half of Glenumbra. All right. Interesting. So, this weekend, I actually seen Captain America Civil War. And without giving out any spoilers, I, that's not what I do. I don't do any spoilers, so don't worry. You don't have to pause, fast forward, or anything like that. Um, I have to say that is a pretty awesome movie. In fact, I would have to go to links to say that I like Batman vs. Superman. But I feel like they strategically came out with that movie before this movie. Because I don't think it would have had the same effect if it came out afterwards. Captain America was... Uh, Captain America Civil War was an amazing film. And I feel like um, they implemented all the characters well. Uh, Captain America didn't get swallowed up into his own film where you didn't forget that it's a Captain America movie. But at the same time, everyone got their little spots where it just felt like they were important or just as important and cameos like you know ant-man when you first see him it's like we already know that that's ant-man because he already got established by his own movie prior to this film so i think marvel is just doing it right they're doing it big and it's really hard to beat them right now um Another YouTuber said, like, you know, they, they wish that Marvel would do DC films. And I, you know, I'm, I'm going to give DC more time before I uh, agree to that statement. But it really does seem like Marvel is kicking butt right now. And um, going into it, I have to say that I just naturally was going to be on Captain America's side, but both sides have so much of a strong case that as you're going through the film, you might be on one side or the other, but then the end, like you become the into, you know, mo both of them, and you, yeah, let me hold on one second. The roots do not consume you. Well, that may prove useful. And you are? The name is Finbeer. I was part of the circle of mages that summoned the Dramora Lord now posing as the bad man. I can help keep his power in check, but I'll need your help. What do you need? The Dramora killed many of my circle. 
Their undead bones wander these tunnels, clutching the gems we used in the ceremony. Bring me some of them. If the Dramora is banished, I can use them to prevent him from ever returning to this realm. Consider it done. Yeah, so like, at the end of the film, you actually become like you don't you might pick one or the other but uh, you can see both sides tony stark side and captain america's side you can kind of see why they're both strong in their own opinions and i left the film kind of like wow like i i don't know which one to pick i think they both have strong cases on why they were fighting each other so that's a strong film when you act you're going in there with your own opinion already um i like iron man better but i like captain america's cause before the film before i even went into the film that was what i felt but um leaving the film they both were in my favor they both made sense and it created more questions for later on. Well, is it done? Here are the ceremonial gems you wanted. Well done. Once banished, the Dramora will never be able to return to Nern. Thank you for your assistance. I hope this ritual will somehow make amends for my partner's whole sordid affair. And that is a mission complete. Farewell. So yeah, I, I just really love that film. The Black Panther, as I said before, my favorite character. Uh, one of my favorite characters of all time. But in this film, they, oh my goodness, they did him justice. I can't wait for the Black Panther movie when it comes out. It's going to be amazing. Um... I, I, I can't really tell too much without giving away things, but just know that it's an amazing film. If you haven't seen it, go see it right now. Like, right now. Pause this, go see it, and then come back and press play. Um, just playing. You, you can, you can uh, watch this first and then go see it, you know, afterwards. But uh, that is just a great film. Great film, and definitely check it out. Um, you see in the trailers that Spider-Man was in it. Amazing job with the Spider-Man. Um, I don't want to give away too much, but you, you just know that Spider-Man's in it from the trailers. And it's an amazing job and a great launch for the Spider-Man franchise from now on. Well, you've got his attention. I can feel his energy shifting. He's angry. I hope so. I've been burning his roots. You've definitely got his attention. Now we need to take the fight to him. Here are the shock glands I collected. We need to find a way to feed them to the Dromora directly. Curator Nicholas said that the items we burn on the altar were fed to the bad man. Nicholas lived? Traitorous lying bastard. He was part of our circle. If he's alive, he made a deal with the Dromora. You may be right. The altar may be the answer. We must get you back to the Glen. Alright, let's go back. So, all right, let me go through this portal and see what's up. This is kind of crazy. So, like, those people were just trying to feed me to the bad man or something. Or what they think is the bad man. Whoa, that dude's on fire. That's kind of crazy. All right. I think that's the guy that tried to... Oh, yeah, yep, this is the guy right here. What happened here? You live? Of course. His anger came after you were consumed in flame. Anger? Soon after you were sacrificed, the bad man became enraged. He he turned on us, rained death upon the grove. It was consumed in fire. I burnt now you return. What did you do? I burn the roots below using the shock glands. Of course. That may be the only way to defeat him. Quickly now, burn the shock glands at his altar. He'll be forced to consume them, and they'll burn him from the inside out. You must hurry. It's our only chance. Hmm. 
Okay, so once I put this here, I think I'm gonna fight this guy. Oh, there he is right there. This guy's about to go down. I'm hitting them with that, that yoga flame. You know, as you guys know that I do love Street Fighter and that is coming up, but um, right now I'm just hitting them with that dulcim. You know that stretchy guy from Street Fighter? Hitting them with that yoga flame. Look at that, it's burning him so good. Hitting them with that, dodging. He couldn't handle it. All right, loot his whole body here. Grab everything up. I don't leave no traces. Let's talk to this lady right here. I felt it. A shift in the planes. Is it done? The bad man is no more. I put him to bed. We should leave this place. But the Daedra banished, the Glen will collapse in upon itself. Thank you for all you've done. Um, I hope you'll have the good taste to not mention that I was involved in all this. Please like and subscribe and put into the comments anything that uh, appeals to you with my updates. Uh, please be on the lookout for the next episode coming up soon. That light armor increase right there. I am leveling up pretty good. Well, I am Dookie and I will see you next time.